Hello and welcome back to Bioshock 2. If you're truly loved this video, the mad. Hi, Lord of Plosis, Harm Major, Spiffening, Level 32, Boxes Madman, Cutest Viking 2013, and all around neutral guy. Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. It has been a while since the last episode because the game kept crashing on me and I was kinda, you know, no use hiding. I know worried that the back of things might hand. go poorly <laughs> if I did try to record again. Oh, I'm using heavy rivets. That's why they're dying so fast. Standard rivets will do. Alright. I have actually done this part before, but the uh, as I mentioned, the game really kept crashing on me a lot. So, things did turn out as well as they could have. And that's a hundred. What a snap. Give Sinclair a few bucks for a load of vials and needles. Then it's evenings putting these syringes together while I listen to the radio. Sell them back to Sinclair twice the price. What a racket. A few pinpricks here and there is nothing to complain about. I'm gonna be back on top soon. Thank you, Mr. Sinclair. Sucker. <laughs> we both, both died tonight, tonight, tonight monster. monster. I, because, because your kind has, has killing in its nature. nature. And, and you, because, because there's, there's no, no way, way the family, family will let you let stroll, stroll out alive, alive with that key. Alright, picking up this. Nope, don't want it. Storage in bank. I don't actually have a P key, so I don't know where that's supposed to go. What I do know though is there's a first aid kit here. And the last time I did this, I was unable to find that. So I just assumed that I would have to crash through this with the drill and waste it on my drill fuel. But this time I know what I'm doing. Hidden presses, hidden buttons can be pressed safely without any trouble. Can I? How do I reload my thingy? Can I manually reload my hyper? No, I cannot. Oh well. Wipe like the dust of that. I know what you're here for. Go on, take it. I won't have you touching me. Dr. Lamb trusted me to care for her child. And I tried. But baby Eleanor disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you. Looking wrong. And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down. Broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in and finish the job. My job is looting, by the Your way. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed, for what it's worth. Do you have any more loot? You have a shoebox with drill fuel and money. Oh, I smoked your cigarettes. I hope you can... It was awfully rude of me, but, um, sorry. Have a nice day. What are you doing? To hell with you, then. Go on. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor is waiting. Ugh, I actually have to keep moving. Empty house. Only an echo to my name. Eleanor. Baby, where are you? Oh. I turned my back and someone took you. It happened so quick. I'm not even a half mama to you, girl. I couldn't protect you. This poster of Dr. Lamb in my room is staring me down like it knows I'm ashamed. I've always been loyal to your real mother, Eleanor. Always trusted her with my secrets. But I lost you. What will the doctor think of me now? You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away. No monster alive turns the other cheek. 
No monster does that. A thinking man does that. Can I listen to another one? Or will you call me again? I got in a fight with a dog eater today. His name is Amir. And he was picking on a smaller boy. We called a truce when his nose went red. But mum says I'm becoming a barbarian. So I said, Eleanor, eat dog now too. Barbarian, happy. And mom said, they only think they're happy because they're selfish and ignorant. Hmm. Eleanor, think ignorant sound like fun. <laughs> I did actually find it last time. So, going through this thing again is actually beneficial at times. Alright. This is the way I'm meant to be going now. And this way. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family, but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. And my odds will be improved by stuff. Hmm. Anything good here? Not by the looks of it. Lots of music going on. Alright, oh, summoned forces. These whirly birds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. Have fun! I did mean to double chat like that. That, that worked out just nicely. Very well indeed. Quite. Um, anything I can get from here that I might be interested in? There's more auto hack dots. Yes. Oh, never mind. Anything else I might want? Eh. Probably. Oops. I have to get used to the controls again because I haven't played in weeks, really. And I may have forgotten how I have things set up and such. I'm going to go this way. Hello! You got what it takes? Bullshit! I do adore this gun. Especially with the upgrades. Do I have it fully upgraded yet or did I still have one level to go? Whoop. I think I have to destroy that. It's a shame but uh, it's my only hopes of survival. Whoop! And I fear I must do this the same way I did last time as well. Whoop. Except it's more looting. Well, if any luck. Hello. If any luck, the other party is now distracted enough for me to continue on my merry way. Get some more of these. Do I need another one of those? I don't know. Or not. I could do with more rivets though, which I am now done with. And um, I can continue on my merry way towards the exit, I believe. Well, sir, I don't know what to call you now. You've done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. Is that so? Um, my fun? By sparing grace, do you seek to gain my trust? A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy a mark. Just take that override key and slot it into the control box in the ticket booth there. That'll open the gates. This is I know, but I'm... 
I'm a looter. It's my nature. To loot. Head back to the train station, sport. I will in a second. I was hoping I would be able to pass through both sides of this vehicle. Apparently not. Oh well. Let's just stick the gear in then. Plug and play. Need to get the trash cans? No. Oh well. On to my merry way then. Right. Moving on then. Out of Grace's territory. And on to a new world. Hear me, O oh ye who would murder the Lamb of God. Ye shall never reach her God. Oh. <gasps> I'm not going to feign surprise there. I've played this part before. <laughs> because of a crash. Yay. I didn't get very far while under the water here, but I did play. Kid, come on, wake up now. There you are. I thought you rode that torpedo into the grate hereafter. I'm in Dionysus Park now. Train cars are shambles, leaking air. Whole damn place is flooded and sealed. But there's a pumping station back there on Siren Alley, and I believe you could jerry-rig it to drain the park out. That'd let you stroll right inside. Get to those pumps and hurry. Right. There's loot here under the water. Under the sea. There's loot. There's loot. I didn't actually remember what the actual song was supposed to be. I know there's loot here. And they will show you the the Adam worms. The Adam leeches. Because they are amazing. And then I will, will call this the end of the episode because this is the aimed episode length that was voted upon. So, thanks for watching. I'll see. I see Father Wales has parted you from your craft, and yet you cling to life. Congratulations. Today, Delta, you meet a man who has no fear of death. And for Eleanor. He would burn with a smile. And I still insist on ending the episode here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.